Good day, everybody. My name is Peter Grenader, and I am going to run through quickly in this little slideshow how to adjust the one volt per octave tracking on a Model 15 oscillator. I need to excuse my rather pedestrian way of doing this. Uh, I'm not set up for mic recording that easily, but uh, I think this is going to work out and be clear enough for you. So, first off, uh, what I have is tools. Uh, you're going to be hearing two sound sources, one in the left channel, one in the right. The first uh, would be the gated sound, the one that will come on and off with my key depressions, is my digital reference. In this instance, it's a Novation Supernova. I'm using a straight saw output bypassing the filter, trying to make it as pure as I can. On the other side will be the Model 15 oscillator with a ramp wave output. And uh, you're going to know which is which easily because the Model 15 is going straight to the output. There is no uh, VCA involved, and it's a continuous tone. The way I have this patched is quite easy. Uh, the sawtooth output of the Model 15 is going straight to the speakers. And I have the voltage output of a MIDI to CV converter into its one volt per octave input. Uh, this particular oscillator is straight off the assembly line. It's not been tested, so it may be out. It may be grossly out. It may be close. It, it all depends on the specific setting of the trim pot as it's received by the supplier. But it doesn't matter. It's easily fixed, and that's what uh, the, this calibration is all about. Now, I just want to point out that the trim pot that we are dealing with with this procedure which is now shown on the screen is um, on the model on the rev 2 is located on the top of the unit it's a multi-turn it needs a straight blade screwdriver or preferably a plastic pot tweaker to adjust plastic because if it happens to slip off and it the 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 blade of the screwdriver hits an electronic component when you're under power it won't do any damage if uh, it's made of plastic. If it's made of metal, all bits are off. You might uh, cause some problems, and that's something you'd want to avoid. A pot tweaker is a good tool for anyone that uses a, a modular. They're easily accessible, and they're quite inexpensive. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to have to do is tune the fundamental bass frequency against the digital standard. First thing you're going to hear is the continual tone of the Model 15 on one side. There we go, and now the Novation, and it is not in tune. Using the fine tune knob, now it is in tune. Now we're going to go up to octave 3, that's C4. Ah, and that hurts. And there's an example of uh, the trim pot being grossly out. I'm turning it now, holding it as you see on the screen, until it sounds like it's all right. And I'm going to go ahead and dance down the keyboard. Now, let's go back up to C5, four octaves. A little more adjustment. That's getting closer. Here we go. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's four octaves. Uh, one thing I want to point out here is the tools I'm using involve the Novation a MIDI to CV converter, my oscillator, and my ears. There's no test equipment used, there's no uh, tuner, there's no frequency counter. Okay, let's continue now with the procedure one more octave. You can hear the oscillator, the keyboard, they're out. There we go. Let's go down the keyboard and see. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, what you do is uh, con r uh, continue this process octave by octave until you get the range that you want. Somewhere around eight, it's going to start being difficult. Okay, we use an all discrete component exponential converter. Everything has the temperature stabilize before I can or you can expect things to operate as they were designed. Now, uh, one thing I want to point out, if you are calibrating more than one VCO, that you use the... Um, the, on the first one, you use a digital keyboard as this as the reference. The sub, uh, subsequent oscillators, you use the oscillator previously calibrated as the reference. And in, in this manner of bucket brigading them, you're going to ensure that they're all tracking together. Okay? 
Now, um, that's why I, I go through the um, the power cord. So you can you can power up more than one unit at a time. It's also very important that you power these units in the case using the power supply that they will be mounted with and used with when the instrument's put back together. The reason for this is simple um, and easily proved. If you have more than one case, get a voltmeter out, power them up, and measure the voltage from power supply to power supply, and you will notice that there is variance, and the Model 15s are um, susceptible to that variance. If you calibrate them with the in the environment they'll be used in, that variance goes away, all right? Now, these trim pots are physically protected. I don't believe they can be hit easily. I mean, if you drop the unit while you're mounting it, yeah, I would repeat it, but I don't believe that if you're, if you're careful, everything's going to uh, fly right when you put it back together. Okay, that's the end of the show here. I, I, I hope it was helpful. Obviously, I should keep the day job and not contemplate a further career in film production anytime soon. I apologize for the severity of this, uh, of this slideshow, but I, I think it was helpful. I hope it was. If you need more help, you can contact us on the 800 number or by email. This is Peter Grenader in Toluca Lake signing off. Bye.